The program I took at McMaster uh, was the music program in the Faculty of Humanities and it was a wonderful experience and I uh, spent my time there from 2007 to 2011. I currently work for the Royal Conservatory of Music. Um, my position is um, Marketing Communications Associate. What I do, uh, I work on print publications and uh, digital um, communications. Uh, being uh, Music Matters is a very kind of, um, you know, quarterly uh, newsletter that gets sent out to all the teachers who have a Royal Conservatory teacher number. Uh, and. You know, I work on that. That's my project, uh, and I also send out all the uh, design, all the HTML and you know digital digital media um, programs as well. My typical workday uh, begins with a two-hour commute um, from Hamilton to Burlington, and then Burlington to Toronto, uh, and I, I spend my time working there till about five, six o'clock, and then I, I commute back to Burlington, and then I have my own business where I've been teaching uh, students music, um, piano, saxophone, clarinet, uh, theory, voice, composition, and I do that about six days a week, so it keeps me rather, rather busy. I only have Saturday and Monday off, so it's, it's busy, but McMaster gave me the tools to, you know, kind of figure out how to make my day more impactful and, and think about where, where I wanted to go with, with my career. The reading and writing uh, skills that I acquired at McMaster have been um, quite impactful. Uh, however, that uh, as, as good of a writer as, as I think I am is that once you kind of working with, with um, you know, career specialists, people who I work in the marketing department, so uh, we have a team of, of people who are writers and that's what they do. So when you kind of get into that environment of writing academic papers versus writing uh, or crafting a specific communication for a specific audience, uh, it's, it's a two different worlds, so they you, you kind of have a, a good base to, to build on, but you, you kind of um, will learn more on the job, if that makes sense. I was an adult student who was returning to school, so, so my, my focus was um, to really get into the university, get into the academics, really get into um, finishing up my degree and, and getting back into the, the working world. Um, so I decided in my last year that uh, you know, I didn't feel like I really kind of participated in any um, <laughs> activities at the university, so I decided to join the McMaster Music Council and uh, just help them out with events. I emceed uh, two of the Christmas concerts, so that kind of gave me, uh, you know, an experience to do some public speaking, uh, which was wonderful. And actually, I've, I've since doing that, I've actually found uh, that very enjoyable. That I've actually been requested to speak at two weddings, um, giving speeches. So that's been uh, something. I guess the McMaster Music Council was able to allow me to experience. What's important, I, I think, is to really, um, at, at McMaster, is to spend time in the library, spend time alone thinking about the things that you, you start with the end in mind and work your way backwards. Um, a lot of people, uh, for myself, I found, I found that very challenging because I'm someone who's interested in many things. Uh, so I went to a lot of um, career counseling and, and things like that to find out well, what is my identity? What am I actually good at? Because the things that you think you might be interested in, you may find that you, you may not love when, once you get on the job. Uh, so how do you discover that recipe? I don't have an answer for that. Um, you really ultimately have to make that answer. I would suggest students start with the end in mind and find a mentor, find someone who's actually doing what you're doing, find out what their hardships were. Um, that would be my suggestion. Uh, I, I know a lot of music students want to become music teachers, but what a lot of music students don't do is they don't do the research until their last year. And then they realize that uh, some of the courses are only offered every other year and to get all of the necessary uh, full credits, you know, you, you'd have to actually build a time machine and go back or stay for an extra year or two years 
just to acquire that. But if they did all that legwork at the very beginning, then they would have the necessary answers to make better choices. What I would recommend to students is not to follow the path. You know, go in an opposite direction that other people aren't going. A lot of people, like I said, music students wanted to um, pursue teaching as a career. I also thought that, but I also had a job before um, convocation because I decided to, I'm a composer, I thought I'd, I'd look into the publishing industry. So teaching isn't the only thing you, you can do in life to be successful. Uh, but I would recommend, I would, I would ask the question, what is everyone doing? And then I would say, what aren't people doing? If you don't have uh, sur surrounding ideas or other ideas from, from different places, you're not going to be able to be, you're not, not going to be able to make better choices.